Yo, yo, what is up? It's Man Man with Twisted Company coming at you with another video. And today's video, I bring to you the most anticlimactic V2 rocket gameplay you'll ever see. If you're looking for something spectacular like a rushing game that just beasts through everybody, this is not the gameplay for you. So I warn you beforehand because that's not what you're going to see here. But instead, what you're going to see is exactly what it takes to get a V2 rocket in World War II. Now, it's a little bit different. In this game, you had to play totally different than the previous two titles. There's no more jetpacking, there's no advanced movement, and there's no way to get around the map super fast. But instead, you had to play more tactical, a lot slower, and you have to kind of creep around and be the one who beats the other opponent to a better position instead. So with that being said, you're gonna see me carefully going around the edges of the map because if you go down the center it's just a death sentence you're gonna get sniped you're gonna get shot down so what i want to do in this video is go through the gameplay and tell you exactly what's going through my mind and kind of explain what i'm doing because we have to break away from the tendencies that we had in iw and bo3 okay number one what does this game provide that will help you get that v2 rocket plain and simple that is the sound horn that is available in this game you can hear the footsteps coming from a mile away so get yourself in a position take a breath listen around to your environment see what's going on so you can calculate your next move so you see i'm creeping around shooting people in the back taking a step back not challenging gunfights that are not in my favor all things we need to take in consideration that's the number one thing you gotta be a creeper Okay, let me rephrase that. You don't have to be a creeper. <laughs> you have to be very stealthy and play like a ninja. So let's break it down. See exactly what are the best score streaks to use when you're trying to get that V2 rocket. First off, the one thing that you definitely need is the UAV, the recon plane, whatever it's called in this game. You know what I mean. And second of all, I recommend the counter UAV. And of course, you know that in this game, it doesn't blur out their mini map, but it takes down any recon plane with enemy side and it also prevents them from putting up a new one now third you may choose to have one or not so you can cycle those score streaks a little bit faster now in this gameplay you see that i have the glide bomb and that was by accident i was trying to change my score streaks and by the time the game started it was too late so pay no attention to the, the glide bombs I, I actually don't recommend you having the glide bombs because you get out of your body and you go into the score streak and that can jeopardize everything the enemy can catch you with your pants down so those are my two recommendations absolutely i mean uh, you can use paratroopers uh, uh i would say paratroopers if you absolutely want to have a third because that will help push the enemy out of their spawn if they're you know playing slow camping it a little bit that'll help them push them out so you can catch them running away from the paratroopers or catch them shooting your paratroopers either or I don't really see the benefit of it having any other score sheets besides those three. But I do recommend that you just have the the recon plane and the counter recon plane. Now one thing I will mention about actually using the paratroopers is that if you're playing like TDM, don't use the paratroopers. They will steal your kills and they may end the game fast. Okay, now that we have the score streaks out of the way, which game mode would be best to drop the V2 rocket? If you're a core player, I recommend Capture the Flag. Capture the Flag has that ability to go to four rounds, with each round being about five minutes. Now you can try playing Domination as well. That might make sense as well. So now that we've broken down which game mode is best for the V2 Rocket, let's talk a little bit about your class setup. In this gameplay, you see me using two different setups. In the first round, you see me use the Airborne Division. Two big qualities this one offers. Speed and stealth. You can actually put a suppressor on your submachine gun and that will help you stay off the radar. Now if you do use the airborne division, you must put on inconspicuous. You will be sound hoard by your opponent. Now the downfall to having inconspicuous is that it's not 100% dead silence, which you know that mountain division does provide. You can walk silently only if you walk or crouch. But other than that, you will be heard. You run faster because you have the airborne division, but you can be heard if you're running, if you're using inconspicuous. Now, the second class that I did use in this gameplay was the mountain division. Again, you can run and not be heard. 
Another perk is that you have Ghost on. If they put a recon plane up in the air, you won't be seen. And the dead silence is so superior to using the basic training inconspicuous because this is 100% dead silence you can run, you won't be heard, etc, etc. Now, another thing I do want to discuss is the tendency in this game to stay in one area. It's something you just can't do, especially when you're going on this long street. The element of surprise, I think, is the number one thing that you need in this game. You need to be one step ahead of the enemy. Now, if you stay in one spot, you no longer have that element of surprise. So remember to be a ninja, move around, and don't overextend your welcome in one single spot. Another thing that this game provides that you must take advantage of are the head glitches. Use them in your benefit. Don't let them be used against you. If you see somebody on a heady, take a glance and run away. Because 90% of the time, you're going to lose that fight. Discipline your trigger. If you see them too far away, don't be hasty and try to spray them down. Especially if you're using a subclass. Because if you're shooting from far away, you're just giving up your position and you're taking more time being distracted, giving a nearby enemy the chance to flank you and catch you slipping. On this gameplay, you do see me have a lot of trigger discipline. I see people from far away, but don't engage. Very important. Pick and choose your battle wisely. And now that we've covered all the basics for you to be on that road to that V2 rocket, let's do a quick recap of what we discussed in this video. Number one, sound whoring. Listen to the environment. It will help you locate your enemies. And two, choose your score streaks wisely. Highly recommend you only use the UAV and the counter recon. And third, pick a game mode that can last a while, such as capture the flag or even domination. Fourth of all, we went through the classes that we needed to accomplish this V2 rocket which was the airborne division with the basic training of inconspicuous or the mountain division in which in my case I use primed with it. And fifth of all we have positioning. Position yourself in a place where you have the element of surprise in your favor. You can use the head glitches and don't stay in one spot for too long. And last but not least choose your gunfights. Know when to engage and when to fall back. So fast forward and we're going to get the last kill of this V2 rocket. I told you in the beginning of this gameplay that it's going to be the most anticlimactic V2 rocket gameplay that you'll ever see. And a lot of it has to do with me not paying attention to the game. So here it goes. I call it in and the round ends. My teammate captures the flag. And then I wait for the, the next round to begin hoping that I still have it. And a big rip. <laughs> That's going to do it for today's video. If you got anything from this video, be sure to slap that like button. And if you're new and you enjoyed the content, subscribe for more. This has been Madman with Twisted Company, and these are my two cents. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.